Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of my YouTube channel. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about what's going on right now in the Dayton real estate market, kind of what we're seeing right now, what's been going on, and what we're forecasting for the months ahead for the rest of the year. So right now, interest rates are still hanging out in the high sixes, low sevens right now. Um, we'll see what happens over the next few months with the Fed and interest rates, things like that. And, and especially the 10-year Treasury bond, that's what really affects uh, real estate um, interest rates. That's a lot of what the lending industry goes off of when they're analyzing the market, deciding what the rate should be, what they'll look like going forward. So again, the projection is still that we'll see rates going down into the fives by the end of the year, but we'll see what actually happens with the economy and the market and everything else going on. But that's the projection right now. As far as the market goes, same story as it's always been, uh, not enough supply to meet demand. <laughs> um, we're kind of hoping that in the next few months, we'll start to see that adjust, but at the moment, there's still way more demand, demand than there is supply, especially in the lower price ranges. Uh, those higher price ranges, like in the seven, 700,000s and higher, a lot less demand because of the interest rates pricing people out of that market. So a lot of folks are being pushed down into lower markets than what they would be at, at um, lower or normal rates. So that's kind of where we are right now as far as rates go and um, the, and how that's affecting demand and supply. A lot of demand right now for those lower priced houses and just not enough supply to keep up with it. And that's the forecasted um, forecasted situation for the time being. Unfortunately, there's just not enough supply being produced right now to keep up with all this demand. And as, as long as that's behind, we'll continue to see this as an issue going forward. And hopefully that can change in the months ahead. Um, but it's kind of hard to predict right now when we'll start to see more housing become available. Another issue compounding that is folks who got in when rates were at the two, in the twos and the threes they of course don't want to sell right now. So you're really only seeing people listing um, if they have to sell or if they have an extra home to sell for some reason uh, along those lines. But by and large, this is kind of where we are in the market right now, kind of just a holding pattern of waiting for rates to go down to kind of get people into higher markets and hopefully see an increase in supply going down the road as well to meet all this demand, which is not subsiding. We'll see what happens with the economy overall as far as a recession or things like that. But as of right now, unemployment is low. Things are looking good. So that is also contributing to this increase in demand because people are in a situation where they can buy. Uh, you just kind of have to navigate those rates as well. But you can always talk to your realtor and your lender about uh, what you can do in a market like this and things you might be able to do to get into that home even with these higher rates, just taking an extra look at your credit and things of that nature. So I hope this was helpful. We'll see what happens in the months ahead. But for now... It's a it's a tough situation, especially if you're looking to buy or you're a first time home buyer and you're trying to break into this market. It, it's it's a little it's a little difficult, but that's why that's why you have a realtor to help you out. And that's why you have a lender to look at things for you to try to navigate these tough waters and hope for better times ahead. I hope this was helpful. Have a great summer. I'll see you next week.